Hey, I'm Bram. Welcome to the Gamma Vlog. It's Sunday, almost 11.15, it's 11.13 right now. It was so sunny all week, and now yesterday it was kind of crummy, and today, last night it just started pouring, and it has not stopped pouring since then, which I guess is fine. Um, in my opinion, it's actually better during the weekend than at the week, because I'm not walking to and from class, I'm mostly just going to the food court. So I guess it all works out just fine, but it is very rainy. And pretty chilly too. I should put on a real shirt and get out of this. Today's mostly gonna be a lot of homework. I'm gonna do I'm gonna start my chemistry right now and then meet up with Sean for brunch at noon. And then when I come back I'm just gonna keep doing homework for a while. So my chemistry class, the lab and the lecture are completely separate entities taught by different people. They don't really talk to each other, but they're supposed to follow kind of the same curriculum. Um, and my, my lecture teacher says that she does things in a slightly different order than all the other chemistry teachers do, which I like the order she's doing it in. It makes more sense. It's the same thing I vaguely remember my high school chemistry teacher doing. But the lab does not go in that same order. The lab goes in the normal order. So here I'm doing the lab homework. And it says... For this module, it's assumed that you are proficient with balancing chemical equations. I remember how to do that mostly. I wouldn't say I'm proficient in it. We haven't learned it in class, but I kind of remember how to do it. And then it says, in addition, it is assumed that you are proficient in calculating the number of moles of reactants and products based on mass or molarity and volume. I have no clue. It's assumed that I'm proficient in something we haven't been taught, and I have to do this because it's due Thursday, and we're not going to get taught this between now and Thursday. So that's complete bullcrap. Anyways, I'm going to wing it. Hopefully it gives a little overview. That's so stupid. It assumes I'm proficient in something that we legitimately haven't been taught. If I did not take high school chemistry, like a lot of people in my class have not, and I open this up, like, that's it. You, you just don't know what you're doing. It's really just quality, quality education. Thank you, chemistry, for, for this great course. Great course design. Just really well thought out. It's great. I love it. It's 5.30, and I'm finally done with all my chemistry homework. Not just the lab, but also the lecture homework. It was hell. It was very bad. Poorly designed, poorly made, poorly explained. Bad times, but it's done. And it's not even due till Thursday, so I didn't have to do it all right now, but I did it. Luke's back from Canada. I am back in Bellingham! What was the highlight of Canada? Um, not going to bed till 2 in the morning because there was drunk people singing Sweet Home Alabama at the top of their lungs below me. Was that really the highlight? Yep. Wow, Canada sucks. <laughs> There's almost a complete lack of any decent food today, but this carrot ginger soup is actually really good. Megan was gonna come eat with us, and then I think she fell asleep. So uh, if you're watching this, Megan, don't sleep at dinner time. I made cheesy garlic fries. I took fries and cheese from the salad bar and microwaved them. Yum. <laughs> Dinner is eaten, homework's done. I get a whole week of school ahead of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this now. I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, stay perfect. I'm just doing some homework. But Aurora sent me this great little care package. These are, she was in Mexico a couple weeks ago, so these are Mexican candies. These are tamarinds.